Either. Still amazing to see where Carolina has gone. Byron Mouton didn't miss many. There he goes. But oh, what a big follow by Chris Wilcox. Seven boards and 13 points. Terps in control early. Jason Capel to fake. Wilcox buys it, flies it, and nearly gets hammered doing it. He came down hard on his head. The good news is he has a hard head. Mm. Eight guys got at least 12 minutes of time in this one for the Terps. A little deeper than some people think. Second half proof that Wilcox is hard headed. 13 points to go with those seven boards later in the second half. This is the Tar Heels season. Capel, Jawad Williams. Maryland's easy winner, 92-77. Lonnie Baxter at 16 and 10. Ninth conference loss, most in school history in a single season. And they have lost five straight at home. Terps, their 19th win after 22 games for the sixth time. Eighth ranked Virginia hosting Clemson. Keith Gillen's troops had dropped four in a row. First half, Virginia by eight. Roger Mason, Jr. Virginia by 11. Second half, Clemson trying to make a run. Down just three. Jamar McKnight, he had 18 and ties this one at 50. Virginia responds. The run of their own. It's Mason with the three, but Travis Watson is there. He had 20 points, 10 rebounds. Late in the second, Virginia by four. Mason, he had 23. Virginia starting to pull away. Virginia by 10. Chris Williams to pull up for three. A 15 to nothing run by Virginia. Cavaliers by 13. Under three minutes to go, it's Mason inside to Williams, and it counts. Virginia wins it, 85-71. The win snapping the Cavs' four-game losing skid. The Tigers have dropped eight in a row since beating the Cavaliers back on January 8th. Clemson managed just four shots during the 15-0 Virginia run. BC beat Miami less than two weeks ago. Other than that, they haven't played real well. Losing 5-7 off the miss. We go the other way. Ryan Sidney is open. Touchdown. Two-hand jam. He had 23 points. 23-15 Eagles. Floyd Bell had a couple of boards. He also scored a lot of points. The oop to Kenny Walls. Eight points. Three of 12 shooting, but that counts. Meanwhile, the Canes struggling. James Jones. This is JJ missing a J. Then they miss a bunch of putbacks. Darius Rice heaved. Perry Clark. His team shot 41% from the field. Sydney driving. No. Uka Agba. Strong light bull. Strong board in the jam. 10 rebounds, 13 points. The final middle of the game. The men and wife doing the deal. Sydney finishes. Bell had 24. BC is the winner, 76. 63, they made a very good team look very average, said Perry Clark of his Hurricanes and the Eagles. They made a taller team look small, too. Eagles out for them, 41-27. Says Troy Bell, we want all the wins the rest of the season. We want everything. There's no room for excuses. 17th-ranked Syracuse welcome 21st-ranked Pittsburgh. First half Syracuse by seven. Deshaun Williams to Preston Shumpert. Shumpert has the ball go off his shoulder, but gathers himself and scores Syracuse by nine. Late in the first half, Syracuse up by six. Keep an eye on Shumpert. Loses his man, and then will split four defenders. As he hits the tough lay-in, Syracuse led 35-27 at halftime. But second half, here comes Pittsburgh. In transition, Brandon Knight for Chad Johnson. 4-0 Pittsburgh run. And then it's Johnson. Wide open layup. Six zip run. Jerron Brown. The putback. Eight nothing Pittsburgh run. Knight, Mark McCarroll. Ten zip run. But wait, there's more. Chevy Troutman. Twelve nothing run. And then it's Knight for Johnson. A 14 to two Pittsburgh run. And Syracuse is stunned. Late in the second half, Pitt down two, and here they come again. Chevy Trout, 16 to two Pitt run. Syracuse by one, Knight looking for Ontario Lett, an 18 to three Pittsburgh run, and up by one. Pittsburgh by three, good night. Pittsburgh by six, Knight strips Quest Dwayne of the ball, and then takes it the distance. Pittsburgh wins this one, a tale of two halves. The Panthers' first win at the Carrier Dome in almost five years. Pittsburgh swept the season series from Syracuse. The Orange have lost five. State hosting 12th-ranked Oklahoma State, Travis Demanby. Steals it from Frederick Yonzine, another steal for the junior. Demanby intercepts Victor Williams' pass. Demanby then ties up Antonio Broxy to get the uh, possession. 
Demanby, five steals for the Medford, Oregon native. Demanby again with another pick. Oh, he's not done. Demanby. Slapping. Rips Jan Zien again. He was Demanby. He was Demanby. Now, if you look at the Fresno State Media Guide, it says uh, in regards to Demanby, he runs the floor and can play solid defense. I think we need to add a couple more lines to that. He had 11 steals. That's a school record, two off the NCAA record held by Mookie Blaylock. Damon Jackson's 24 marked a career high. The Bulldogs snapping a four-game losing streak. Now we're starting to see some chinks in the old Ohio State armor playing in Michigan State Sunday. Speaking of chinks, Elisha Sanaganye had to leave with some blood on his shirt. His replacement, Terrence Dial's getting busy. 11 points in 23 minutes, and Anagany comes back. New uni. The pass ahead to Anagany. Marcus Taylor, Adam Bollinger laying it in. Bollinger at 18 points. Taylor at five assists. Anagany now losing his contact. So we got to call a timeout. Anagany stays in with the Spartans up four. He sets the screen. The good news is he didn't break anything, lose a contact, and get blood in his shirt. Spartans up six. Taylor at 18, Michigan State. No bush. Buckeyes fall out of a first place tie with Indiana. They get Iowa, then the Hoosiers next. Really some positive contributions from Taylor, who's back. Kenny, thanks. College of Charleston, Western Carolina. Jeff Bolton on the wing for three. We're tied at 35 of the half. Second half. KC Rogers behind uh, the back. No look pass to Willie Freeman. Western Carolina by two. Then Bolton taking over for three. Cougars up 47 41. Bolton again. He had 30 points in the ball game. College of Charleston up 60-51. Cornelius Mitchell driving the lane, misses, but Bolton there for the one-handed jam. And the College of Charleston goes on a win, 81 to 64. They have been red hot from long range the past two games. Ten three-pointers in this one, a dozen in Saturday's win over Appalachian State. Hoops also took care of the ball, committing just six turnovers while grabbing 17 offensive boards. Colonial leader, North Carolina Wilmington, making a stop at George Mason's Patriots Center. Anthony Terrell, however, Wilmington down 10 at halftime. Second half, George Mason's Terrence Nixon. Big time upstairs off the glass. He led the Patriots with 14. Wilmington last chance down three. Brett Blizzard for the tie. Hurry up. In and out. George Mason wins 59-56. They have one four in a row. Patriots improved to nine and four in conference, but the Seahawks still hold a game and a half lead in the CAA. This uh, loss now. Sports Center showcase KU in Austin to take on Kansas. What do you have? First half, there's Roy Williams looking to get to 11 0 in conference. Aaron Miles for a throw. Hey, it was ugly, but it counts. 17 13, Kansas. Sorry, dude, we had to show it. Later in the first, Miles pulls up and banks it again. Jayhawks up eight. This is getting ridiculous. Still in the first, TJ Ford loses it, gets it back. Brian Boddicker for a throw. Even at 32 19 for Boddicker. Kansas up by one. Miles loses it. Nobody can handle the rock here. Wayne Simeon is there, though. 45 42 KU. Fast break time now. It's Kirk Heinrich. Elbow foul. The Heinrich maneuver. Boddicker, he's not happy. KU up 48 44 at halftime. Early second. Miles wide open. Drew Gooden. You got to get somebody on Drew Gooden. Underneath now. James Thomas. The block. Picked up by Ford. And here we come right into your living room. The lay-in, elbow foul. Roy Williams, your thoughts? Uh, he, he can't even look. Texas by two. Kansas off the inbound. Gooden gets free for two. Make it three. Six-point lead. Gooden, 22 of his 28 after halftime. Brandon Mouton, an open three at 25, and it's a one-point game. They're on their feet in Austin. Kansas up three, minute and a half to go. Ford, block, gets it back. Thomas is there. Two of his 16, Longhorns within one. More Texas, Ford, Royale, Ivy. The lost art of the mid-range jumper tied at 96, Ivy at 16. Six seconds left. It's time for the Heinrich maneuver. Loses control, gets it back. That's not the shot we wanted. Miles, Newton. Front rims it, we're going to overtime. Rick Barnes is fired up. Roy Williams smiling there. In OT, Jeff Boshi off the pick. He'll hit that all day. 21 for Boshi, Kansas up by one. Texas answers Ford here. Boniker there. Even at 100. Kansas up by two. I told you Boshi to hit this all day. Five point Jay Oxley. And then Kansas puts it away. Nice hair. Gooden 
the drive. KU wins. Good game. 110 to 103 the first time in 54 games. The Longhorns have lost when scoring 100 points at home. Texas is the first team to hang a C note on Kansas since Oklahoma beat KU 178 back in 1990, a span of 407 games. So the Jayhawks set a Big 12 single season record, their 11th straight conference win, and are averaging 104.2 per, dating back to the start of this stretch by Kansas on January 28th. That clip is bettered by only five NBA teams, including the Nets, Mavs, Lakers, Kings, and Cavs. Each of those teams has a blemish on their records. Kansas has not lost during its run. UConn Villanova, Connecticut Governor John Rowland, Villanova class of 1979. First half, Garrett Buchanan misses a three. Scott Hazelton rebounds. Tony Robertson coming back. Right back to Nova's Brooks Sales. Later, Buchanan. Off balance, 10-footer, goes eight. Robertson now has his shot blocked. Nova's in transition. Derek Snowden. Gonna hit the jumper. That good, but freeze it. It's 12 to 8 Nova. Almost 14 minutes into this game. Jim Calhoun. We're setting the game of basketball back 20 years. At the half, Nova led by one. Both teams only made eight field goals. Nova had nine turnovers. UConn eight. This coming after the conference's highest scoring game on Saturday between Notre Dame and Georgetown. Second half, not much better. Buchanan badly misses. Nova just five field goals in the second half. And then Karan Butler, baseline drive. Nova in transition. Snowden has it stolen. Now UConn back the other way. Can we get it together, please? Amika Okafor misses the short J. Hey. One minute to go, Huskies up two. Snowden on a miss. UConn running. Ben Gordon with the lay-in. Misses that. Butler, we got a basket. Karan Butler with the hoop. And UConn wins it 46-40. Butler says there was a lid on both baskets. Butler did score 20 points, grabbed 11 boards, his third straight double-double. This Back on Sports Center for Utah UNLV early on in the first half. It's Britton Johnson with the fake spin. Nice move. Utah starting with an 11-zip run, led by eight of the break. Oh. Second half, look at Johnson He's doing, doing some things. Many different things. How about that for a highlight? He had you 16 think he points. Could do that? I knew he could do it. Marcus Banks to steal the other way. Lewis Admondson up and good. Still second half. Admondson with the block. Rebs the other way. Dalron Johnson's going to get the bucket. He had 17, and UNLV wins it over Utah. Final score 72 to 64. First half, Courtney Pritchard to the hole, and it's a lay-in. Pritchard, like he had easy pass. Too easy going down the lane. Second half, Carl Sanders shot. Partially blocked by Chris Jackson, going the other way. Jackson slamming it home. He had 28. Wagner wins it 99-88. That's a women's lacrosse team thrilled with the performance. Sunbelt, Louisiana, Lafayette at North Texas. The Mean Green fired up first half. Leonard Hopkins saves his own miss. Back to Will Smith. Big Willie style. Tied at 22. Second half, Hopkins, look at this, behind his back, and he lays it in. North Texas outscored the Cajuns 50-29 in the second half. And the Mean Green, they win 78-59. Big South Conference, UNC Asheville taking on Elon College. Second half, Julian Capel hits the jumper. Later in half number two, Andre Smith taking it hard to the hole, laying it in. And the Bulldogs go on to win. The final score was 72 to 58.